there, my name is Dr. Marissa May. In this video, we're gonna be simplifying a complex fraction. Now, all that means is it has fractions inside of a fraction. And I know that can be a little bit overwhelming. I'm gonna to try to make it as simple as possible. And the first thing I would ask you is to look at the denominators in the smaller fractions. So you see that one of the small fractions has a three in the denominator, another one has an X. So if we were gonna make a common denominator, which by the way, we're not, but if we were, that common denominator would be three X. Great. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the problem and I'm gonna multiply each term in the problem by 3x. So I'm going to multiply this by 3x. I'm going to multiply this by 3x. I'll multiply this by 3x and this by 3x. Okay. Remember, whatever you do to the top of the fraction, you must do to the bottom in order for the value to stay equivalent or the expression to be equivalent. And so as long as I do it to everything, we're good. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Notice that the threes cancel here and I get x times x, which is x to the second. Minus on top, four times three x is 12 x. Look at the bottom then, three x times five, 15 x. Plus, um, now the x's cancel and you get three. Now, what I did there, recognize what I did, by multiplying by the would-be common denominator, I got rid of those smaller fractions. Now I'm dealing with one fraction. Okay, what you wanna do now is just see if there's anything you could simplify. So I notice on top, they both have an X, so I'll factor out an X. And then I notice on the bottom, they're both divisible by three. So I could do that, but I don't see anything that would cancel top and bottom. So I can leave my answer. This would be my final answer. So I hope this strategy of multiplying by that would be common denominator helps you to see that it simplifies your, expression because it gets rid of those little fractions inside of the fraction. All right, friends. Bye for now.